The musical was about segregation in the 1960s, the, um, div the dividing line between black and whites and, um, you know, basically white race um, opposing to any other race. Um, back then, you know, even though very much so, still race racism is very much part of our culture. Back, you know, in the 60s, black and white people could not dance on live television together and it was uncalled for it was not heard of so this is this whole entire musical is about breaking the barrier breaking the mold doing the opposite of what what people are telling you um you know what, what society says be who you are be yourself and fight for your right i play the character of velma von tussel she is a arrogant, narcissistic, passive-aggressive woman who's very powerful. She is, um, I play the producer of the Corny Collins show, which during the production is uh, the popular TV show that the, two main, that the main character loves to watch and she wants to be on. Her name is Tracy, the main character. What I mainly had to go through was, um, I'm a very opposite uh, from my character. I had to learn how to be more assertive, be powerful, be authoritative, um, be direct, be a director. I had to be more, you know, cutthroat as well and being aggressive and mean. Um, I'm not really like that in real life. So, uh, I mean, it's funny because a lot of her traits were coming out of me. Like, I'd get into fights with my parents, and I'd kind of put on my Belma voice, and it'd kind of come out, because um, she was becoming a part of me, slowly. It's funny, because when I was auditioning for her, this voice, this stage voice kind of came out of, out of me, because I felt like it was more, it fit what, my, the way I talk in, in, as Velma is different than my regular speaking voice a little bit. I felt like that should have been needed, because she's not like, Every, you're a typical woman. So um, I mean, there are people like that, but, uh, and I had to, like, I have a background in, my mother has taught me how to train my voice vocally. Um, to be Velma, you have to have a very strong singing voice. So I definitely made sure that happened. I really wanted her to be bam, boom, you know, different from everyone else. Although, we have great performers being the other women on the, as the main characters. I really wanted Velma to be sound different than the, than the rest. Yes, um, my my father is a musician. And my mother was an opera singer, and she actually vocally trained me. She's over the years. She's taught me like some tricks of the trade of what to do with my voice so I don't hurt myself. And I was in a band with my friends. I was a singer. And yeah, I don't know music. I can't read music, but I find myself to be musically efficient. We went through a lot of grueling rehearsals um, that took a lot of long hours. Tech Week, for example, um, through this past weekend, they had to do, we, they were from like 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And Tech Week consists of learning the, the lighting and having the actors come do the scenes in like you know a short way but have they needed the lighting to be very per perfected and everything like that so it, it's taken a lot of time we've actually been practicing for like three months mm -hmm. um, you know every day for three months we were cheated out in January because of the the weather but um, like we started auditioning before Christmas so it's been a lot of work has come into it. A lot of people have pulled together and taken a lot of their time out from their schedules to do it. Um, you come in, you're working on the scenes that you're doing. Um, we're basically what happens is like whoever whoever is there is the scene that they're doing. So learning lines, learning how, learning blocking. Blocking means you're positioning. You're on stage like the movements you do on stage, choreography, voice, voice, the music. We had to all learn the songs. We actually came in, um, we would come in and we would sit down together around the piano and sing the songs with, um, 
we would sing the songs with the person playing piano who was the, the Mark, our musical director. And, you know, it, it, it would be, the hours would be like five, four to five hours every day. Yes, um, actually, like, because of the show, school's kind of been on, um, like, the back, the back burner, I guess you could say, for me, um, because it's just taking a lot of time. It takes, you know, you have to, a bo you're, an actor is like an athlete. They have to take care of themselves. It's not like you can just, like, go on stage and do what you got to do. It takes a lot of mental preparation, and you have to be energized and awake you have to have a good night's rest like it's just like trying out for the olympics you know you need to make sure you are ready to you and you're well and you're focused well what i do is i listen to a, a song by queen it's called the show must go on and i've been listening to that song on the way to rehearsal and um, I listen to it on the way here because I um, the lyrics are really good and it's very powerful. But other than I think that's just because I don't know, like maybe lately it's I've been interested in. But I love Queen. That's my one of my favorite bands. But that's what I've been doing lately. But I don't really have a like I don't I'm not very superstitious and I don't like to psych myself out. So I don't really do anything like that. But yeah. Um, probably yesterday when we do it, went over our first show and everyone was, um, really happy and cheerful and we were all s screaming like, Tim, 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 who is the name of our director. And then everyone was going, Latoya, 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 elite, elite. These are the, the women that have been, um, taking their time out volunteering to do our wigs without these people and Susan, the costume head of costume, Susan Stewart. Without these people, this would not have happened. And there, there's, these are people that do are doing this because they love the craft that is theater. Um, my relationship with the other actors are all positive. No one is, I must say, and it's funny because my cousin Lauren, uh, she came to see the show and she was like, so tell me the scoop about this cast. And I was like, you know, everyone in the cast is are really great people. Like no one is, no one is an egomaniac. No one wants someone else to fall. It's all about camaraderie here, and that's really hard to find in theater because everyone is, it's like every man for themselves attitude in the theater. So I'm, you know, it's been a great journey with with these people. It really has, and they're everyone is are what everyone's wonderful performers. Like you kind of feed off of their energy. The costumes are, they're very intricate because it has to be from the period of the 1960s. So, you know, that takes preparation in itself. Um, I, I love my costumes. I actually do a costume change in the middle of my performance, which I've never done before. I also have a quick costume change on the side. A lot of people have costume changes where they actually have to do their costume changes on the side of the stage, which is called the, like, in between the wings. Um, so they have to, they don't even have time to go back to the dressing room. They have to do it right then and there. And the wigs too, like the wigs are something that you totally have to, it's like a whole process that taking in the character, taking in who you are. But I love, I love the costumes. They're great. Yeah, absolutely. I think musical theater is something I definitely want to try out again. What drives me to be an actress is I can be whoever I want to be. I don't know if it's because I have identity issues, but I feel like um, when you are a character, you can kind of latch on to that person. Sometimes like you're not strong enough to live life on your own, and if you have the character that you're portraying that's not in real life, it kind of helps you go along your day. Also, a lot of the plays in itself they're all about social issues and people that have real issues that 
you might be going through yourself. You might have a friend that's that's going through something, and it brings it to life, and you and it brings it under this microscope of reality for for these these people and this and this like like hairspray like I don't know what it's like segregation in the 1960s I don't know what that's like I never lived through it but because I'm in the show it I, the spectrum is that much smaller for me to look inside to it because I can see for myself what it was like for these people um my mom and my dad my mom inspires me because my parents are in, were in show business. My dad still is. And my mother has been the breadwinner in my family and put her career on the side to have my father's career be prolonged and for him to further himself. And um, I think without her, like, her ability just to be so strong and to be the backbone of our family it's really inspiring and she even though she gave up her dream she was you know an opera singer she was in all, she was in all my children she was in commercials what have you um, she wanted a family that was more important to her and she wanted she stuck by her her, my, her husband my father and and did it all so I'm just really really um, influenced by that <laughs>